Yes, it has arrived. Finally, it's there. StreamYard, a video live streaming services, has announced that they are now supporting shortcuts. And if you're also using Ilgato Stream Deck for managing your shortcuts, then this video is going to show you in detail how you can set up a Stream Deck integration together with StreamYard. So stay tuned. This tutorial has three different steps. First step is you're going to log into your StreamYard account. Then you need to download on a help desk site from StreamYard some files and then go to your Stream Deck desktop application to import these files. And last but not least, I'm going to show you how it works when using your Stream Deck. And it doesn't matter if you have the small, the medium or the large version. Okay, step number one, you go to StreamYard website. There you go into the help center. There you will find StreamYard features. You can also search for Stream Deck. And then there is a tutorial which shows you how to do it. But I'm going to walk you through all these steps. The first important step, what you need to do on the website is here to go to the download section. You need to download here a Stream Deck profile. That is the most important step. This will uh, walk you to a, a Google Drive site. Okay, currently you're seeing my default profile and now we're going to add an additional profile by clicking here on the right steering wheel and then it's going to be complicated. You don't need to create a new profile. That's important. You just need to click here on this little arrow and click import and then you just go to your download uh, folder where you just downloaded the binaries from the StreamYard website and just import them. Voila! And now everything is there what you need. This means that you have now a brand new profile which is automatically assigned and uh, synchronized to your Stream Deck device. And here you've got buttons for different scenes, primary, second, third, you know, how many uh, people you want to see if you want to go live you also have here buttons uh, for if you want to share your screen and the way how the screen sharing should look like you can go into the different ways of um, of you know you can choose the banners and the visual layouts and all the assets you can mute your microphone you can mute your camera you can unmute it you can um, go into all the different assets and also screen sharing and file sharing is supported here. So everything what you need in a very nice stream, it's now part and officially supported with the StreamYard application. Okay, I'm using now a different camera. So you should see here that I'm having my new profile already installed. And let's check here. Let's start here with the, with the very first button. This is my full size here. That if I would have more people joining, then I, I can choose between two or three different views. Let me go and share my a little bit here of slides. So that's the way how, how I can share slides in StreamYard. So I'm going to, uh, let's say, take this. What do I do? Let's, I, let's shake, let's share this one. So I'm going to share my application of Streamer of Stream Deck. It's always difficult. StreamYard Stream Deck. So here I can move around, full presentation, my face here, here, this face. If I would have more guests, then I can I can switch to the other views. And of course, <clears throat> when I'm having a cuff here, I can go on mute by clicking here on the mute button. Check mute. If I want to stop my camera, then just stop it here. And then I can also stop here my screen sharing here we are and then go into the different layouts and views and then also changing here banners brand bubbles logos so this is like a i'm skipping through all the different parts of my configuration and i'm using this um yeah stream yard for every single week thursday evening alex ragnar show 9 p.m cet we're talking about Microsoft Teams news and Microsoft 365. And I'm very happy here to finally have this uh, Stream Deck available, which makes it easier to navigate my show and have less, less disruptions and have a more smoother live streaming experience. 
Hope you found this tutorial helpful here regarding Stream Deck and StreamYard. Please let me know if you have questions about the streaming platform or the hardware device here. And then, PM, yeah, please join us. Uh, today, I'm going to be live with Alex Eggers, 9 p.m. CET. We have Microsoft Viva Topics live on stage, and we're going to stream our Microsoft Teams news every single Thursday, 9 p.m. CET. And we're using the Stream Deck integration tonight for the very first time. So stay tuned. Thanks for following.